Psalm 61 To the choir master with stringed instruments of David Hear my cry, O God, listen to my prayer. From the end of the earth I call to you. When my heart is faint, lead me to the rock that is higher than I, for you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the enemy. Let me dwell in your tent forever. Let me take refuge under the shelter of your wings. Selah. For you, O God, have heard my vows. You have given me the heritage of those who fear your name. Prolong the life of the king. May his years endure to all generations. May he be enthroned forever before God. Appoint steadfast love and faithfulness to watch over him. So will I ever sing praises to your name as I perform my vows day after day. When we are in trouble, God often feels distant. Notice that David says he is crying out to God from the end of the earth. He is wandering far from what is familiar, and God seems far off. But David remembers his past history with God. You have been my refuge, a strong tower. You, O God, have heard my vows. When in distress, David clings to what he knows has been true of God over the course of David's life. Now, therefore, David does not curl up in feelings of futility or hopelessness. He goes to God, trusting that his voice will be heard. Hear my cry, O God. He asks the Lord to deliver him. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. In other words, David is asking God to take him to a place of safety that he himself cannot attain on his own strength. Picture a rising flood. David needs God to guide him to a rock that gets him higher than he himself could reach, lest he drown. How do you handle distress? Emotional? Psychological? Physical? Financial? What is your heart impulse when you feel swamped by adversity? Cry out to the Lord. He will lead you to a place of safety. Perhaps it will not be the safety you expect. Perhaps it will not be immediate deliverance from your present trials. But at bottom, He will assure you of your final and ultimate safety in the arms of Jesus Christ, the true rock that is higher than what you yourself could attain. This rock not only lifts you above the floodwaters of your earthly adversity, it lifts you all the way up into heaven by grace instead of on the basis of your own resources.